certain uh, lovely people. How are you all doing this fine evening? Just sorting out some last-minute things, then I'll be going to the open mic night to gather all of these lovely friends who love to come to see my reading. Mm-hmm. Having a few issues with my avatar. It seems the copy I uploaded is not suitable for desktop view, which obviously leads to the downside of... Well, no one being able to see the camera. So I'm just waiting for it to upload. All right, dear. And I had best jump into the world to make sure it all works. Otherwise, well, the event can't work. Okay. Hello. Hello there, Belgor. How are you doing? And Casper W. One, building with bricks. <laughs> Thank you for the auto host, Pleader Doll. Ew, a mind theater copycat. Right, I don't have any original ideas, so I'll just steal his. The reading hall map is taking quite a while for me to load into. I hope the stream isn't suffering in the meantime. Let us see if we can do it from within VR. No, it can't be done from within the eye. Welcome to the reading hall. Thank you for the follow. As you can see, loading stream once more. Ah, dear. But the good news is I now have my glasses on within my VR headset, as I did not realize the deluxe head strap. Who keeps sending me messages? I did not realize the deluxe head strap gave me that comfortable ability, so now I should be able to read crystal clear, although... Damn it, I had it comfortable, and then I had to take it off to do the Streamlabs thing. Bother. Damned application. All right. Stop sending me messages. Damned phone. If it keeps going off, I'm going to throw it against a wall. Looks like that's all working. Am I? Uh huh. And this all appears to be working as well. Good, good, good. Have they still not fixed this yet? Oh well. Hello there, everybody. Am I coming through loud and clear? I suppose the next thing I need to confirm is... Why is it so hard to use this? 
The face is a little off. And let us test. Ah, I see. I can move it probably another 50 pixels up and down. This'll do for now, though. Hello there, Soul Flayer. How are you doing? Hello. Hello, Burning Ghost. Ghost. Tee hee. It seems the vices on this model don't work. Hello there, Mr. Me. Welcome to the reading up. hall. <laughs> Rainbow. 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 Indeed. Indeed, as it always has been, it always ever shall be. Rainbow. Oh gosh, right. I forgot that this place got scuffed. Indeed. It has been destroyed. And I miss the old open mic night oh, already. What the heck happened to this place? I might have to do one myself yeah. and use that as the central hub for gatherings. Damn. That might actually be not a bad idea. I'll do it after this stream. Mayhaps I'll even stream it. I'll ask for suggestions. Won't that be a fun little one? Won't Hello, it? Maxi. Hello there, Neo the Massacre. How art thou doing, fine gentleman? I am doing well. This is suitably good. Hello there, Baka Ranger. Do you like my new model? Hello, Mechanic. Indeed. I, I added glasses to her for the reader. Uh... <laughs> nice. I like the old one a lot. I'm afraid I might have to leave before the last <laughs> chapter because I have to eat some hair. This one's more exotic. I like it. I prefer this. I like the old model a lot better. Yeah. The old model was using a base that everyone could easily access and get. This one is using a 100% custom base. No one can copy me. Mm, nice. Well, no one can copy me easily. The second I saw someone else using the body of my other model, I decided change was needed. Mm. I must be unique. And quite frankly, this is probably one of the most distinctive models here. Indeed. Rainbow? Yeah, true. She is a chocolate beauty. <laughs> hey, new model. Indeed. Hey, hey. Hello. Oh, no. Hey, will you? Do the monkey. Rainbow? <laughs> Shucky. Yeah. yeah, new clothes. Chuck, what did you trying do? To, I'm trying to make sure I don't skip leg day. <laughs> You're That's in the theater now. What the hell? I see. Hello. Hello. Are you mute for now? I'm a... Alrighty. Yeah, I can move my arms. Didn't you notice? Wow. How are you, Silver? Yeah. Move me. Then I shall huh? drop the portal. A portal to the realm of reading. Indeed. Awesome. Give us the link. Andis of the Rainbow. He's adorable. That'll be your night name. Okay. How are you doing, pretty mama? Ooh. <laughs> Onward hey, to glory. Here <laughs> <laughs> go. Oh, God damn it, VR chat, don't do this to me. Really? <sighs> I 
I almost just got destroyed. Really wish it would stop putting me in crouched mode <laughs> or standing mode. And when I'm sitting. Stand. As she runs forward, her face clips through the pain. And here we have the scene of tragedy from the previous reading. Inada slain, sliced open, and bled out, suffused in holy light. No. I know. It was quite sad, wasn't it? Huh? Mm? Are you a part of the Discord, Andis? Rainbow? There is a channel within the Discord for regulars. Regulars can claim chairs. That chair was claimed. You can sit in it. It doesn't really bother anyone. Nice little personalized chairs, which I try to get onto, but always end up running out of time. Always and forever, time is my mortal enemy. I need more of it, and at the same time, don't have enough. Such is the life of magnetics. That is adorable, Baka. That then model is adorable. It is so much different to be able to read in VR. It's almost like I've gained a second sight, the ability to fully understand everything. Ah, uh, that's okay, Kaiserlot. Broken Chan is warming your chair whilst you are not here. <laughs> All right then, everybody, let us begin. Shall we? Let us begin from where we normally start, with the last time. Nikronos, I will probably do that either tomorrow or Monday. My Monday. It all depends. My weekend schedule is rather filled, as I run two reading events, but... Steve, the mighty, mighty battle mage, will come back, because it knows this is true. It is always true. All right, let us begin. Last time, on regarding being reincarnated as a slime, Inata takes the fall for the invasion of the city of Tempest, resigning from her post within the church and her post as the captain of the Emperor's Guard. She begins to enact a plan to rescue the children that Rimuru had mentioned, to confirm with her own eyes the atrocity that Yuki is reaping on the world. Accompanied by Fritz, previously her second-in-command, and still so, she begins to blend into the cooking staff at the Freedom Association School. After working for weeks and getting the lay of the land, they finally decide to make their move, and confirm the children are there. Upon finding the children, they are guarded, but once she mentions Rimuru, they trust her implicitly. They are planning their escape when Yuki barges in. And begins monologuing like a true villain. The children were bait, and they were lured. Sorry, and they lured a big fish. Inata plans to kill Yuki, but 
Then he unveils the fact that he is not a mere minion, but the true mastermind, before he unleashes the ancient hero to fight against her. Hinata is beaten, slain by the great and powerful hero, and as their blades clash for the last time, the barrier that prevented teleportation is sundered. Fritz grabs the children and the newly, haul, <coughs> the newly warm corpse of Hinata and portals out. Hinata's soul is then merged with Chloe, the missing child, to become the great hero in the past. Revelations are made. The church has been worshipping a demon lord all along, and that demon lord, Ruminas, wants Hinata to be alive, reviving her, splitting the two souls of Chloe and Hinata back into their original state. We now begin at chapter 125. Mm, that's the program. And of course the program isn't showing. Here we go. Get rid of that. Oh, let's go. Can I read it like that? Yes, no, not really. Okay. Chapter 125, The Memories of the Hero. The birth of the true hero, Chloe Opel. It should have been an event that occurred at the same time as Hinata's death. However, that fate was rewritten due to the intervention of the demon lord Ruminas. But was that really the cause? Chloe, who woke up and knew that Hinata was able to revive safely, was glad enough to shed tears. They would talk calmly, the three. Hinata, the hero, and Ruminas moved to the parlor. In there, they spoke with the awakened Chloe. Because the string of tension was gone, the children were sleepy, and Glenda had taken them to rest in another room. The other holy knights seemed to have decided to rest as well, after Hinata's revival made their tension disappear. Under pressure, they had held the conference since morning, and before they realized it, the day had turned to night. Although it was important to determine their future objective, with the appearance of the demon lord Ruminas, their hostility to the Holy Empire of Ruberion now vanished during the talk. Even though they couldn't help but see the Freedom Association as an enemy, they never predicted that Yuki had consolidated his power in the reach what, in each nation of the Human Alliance. Nevertheless, Inata's revival wiped out their despair and dispersed the heavy mood. For that reason, they would now hold a real conference tomorrow. After guiding the three people, Nicholas instructed the maid to prepare the tea, and he embraced Inata from behind, seeming like he doesn't want to be separated. Even if Inata told him to go away, Because I don't want to part with you again. But there were no islands to hold on to. Eventually, Hinata ran out of patience and continued the conversation as if Nicholas didn't exist. Hinata's face turned red, but Nicholas couldn't see that. Chloe and Ruminas kindly turned a blind eye, and Hinata herself was happy. I'm glad, Hinata, you are safe. As Hinata's soul disappeared, I thought you died. As, uh, ah, Chloe, I was surprised too. I never thought that Ruminas would come and assist me in my revival. God damn, this is... Why, why is it always women? Huh? All right, who's speaking? Hmm. Speaking of which, the information network of the church hath expanded well. Tis was for the... <laughs> Tis was for the sake of finding the one who does steal Chloe from the sacred coffin under mine protection. And after knowing Chloe's revival from the information besought, I cameth here. When this one arrived hither, the revived thee was not present. While hearing the exchange, Chloe was in thought. Her expression was filled with wonder, as it wasn't a trivial matter. When Hinata and Ruminas who noticed this, they worried and tried to speak to her. Who is speaking? Who is the one that is speaking? They don't tell me, or something. All right. I remembered. No. I could remember. Apparently, I saw my demise in the future. I'll be defeated by Yuki and be killed in the future. It'll become a one-on-one -on -one fight with the demon lord, Guy Crimson. Using that opportunity, Yuki pierced the two of us together. However, on the verge of death, my astral body that holds the property Welcome of the spirit of time was hall. thrown to the past for the sake of sharing my knowledge and experience. As a result, the past, or current, I received help from Rimuru-sensei, and the rampaging was prevented during the spirit fusion. 
therefore this may be my second life, though I may have actually leapt many times. Perhaps, even if I leaped many times in this world, I think I cannot learn everything. Unfortunately, the hero's astral body that fused with me couldn't remember the knowledge and experiences of the future, even now, because I can only remember the last life. <sighs> God, this is hard. The last life's memories, this may not be the second time. When I compare it with my memory, Hinata still being alive now is a miraculous thing. It's just probably, for one thing, I succeeded in taking a different action from last time. Though it's just a trivial action. As a result, time has now begun to follow a different route from the future that I remembered. What will happen in this world's future? I will witness it with my own eyes. And I wish to save this world. <sighs> um, you have no idea how sore my jaw is now. Ugh. Chloe spoke while taking a sip of the black tea that had been prepared by the maid. The remembered past and future that she knew, last time, or the time she leapt so many times. Even with the fragment of the hero's last bits of power that fused with Chloe, she can't convey the knowledge to herself at the time of the spirit summoning by Rimuru. The ability she obtained was the unique skill of time travel, the power to do a limited leap to the past. It's a one-way trip and the conditions to use this ability are complicated, and its uses are limited. Last time, or every time, Chloe killed Hinata and leapt to the past. When she returned from the long time travel and woke up, she killed Hinata. It should have been a fate that was repeated without changing. However, it's different this time. Up until now, Hinata didn't revive, and Rimuru was dead. Hinata fought against Rimuru not only once. When Rimuru parted with Chloe and the others in the royal capital, Chloe always clung to Rimuru in tears and detained him in his return to Tempest. As the result, some time was wasted, and Rimuru's return to Tempest with spatial transfer in a hurry. Hinata, who was performing an ambush outside of the royal capital, always missed meeting with Rimuru, and the encounter between them never happened. It might be said that Yuki's expectations always came off. However, this time Chloe didn't detain Rimuru. She endured it as she wanted to be considered an adult by Rimuru. As a result, it can be said that the situation had greatly changed. First of all, the detained Rimuru returned to Tempest without encountering Hinata and succeeded in protecting his subordinates. However, Tempest were defeated. Tempest will be defeated by the hostile allied forces of the Western Saints Church and the Farmer's Kingdom. The Holy Knight Order, led by Hinata, boasted an unparalleled strength. No matter how many of Rimuru's monster subordinates were stronger than a high-ranked devil, it was impossible for them to surpass the Wall of Strength. In the end, Rimuru fought Hinata in a single combat, and was completely annihilated on the spot. After getting a large quantity of souls from that war, Claymand awakened as a true demon lord. With the joint cooperation of Millim and Frey, Claymand's hosting of War Pulgris was approved. Naturally, Ruminus also attended Welcome the Welcome to the reading hall. During that window, Yuki began his move to steal the sacred coffin. When Hinata returned, by the order of the raging Ruminus, the sacred coffin recovery operation was accomplished in every time's flow. Chloe obtained Hinata's soul here and leapt to the past. But, because Hinata's soul was ruined due to the effect of Yuki's thought control, the crystal of curse, only the energy of her ability and her soul passed to Chloe. They didn't share their knowledge and feelings. Chloe gathered power by herself, and she would go through a long time travel. Therefore, Hinata's ego returning when she awoke as the true hero was unexpected. When Hinata fought the hero, Ruminas was also in the middle of a fight. By the order of Clayman, Millen invaded. Or rather than an order, it was a suggestion. Clayman's cajolery was based on the advice from Yuki that Ruminas' death, sorry, that Rimuru's death was because of Ruminas' incitement. Deceived by those words, Milim raged. With Milim as the opponent, Ruminas was at a disadvantage. She would be defeated by Milim after fighting for three days and three nights. However, Milim can't be said to have been left unscathed. She would be killed in her weakened state by the awakened hero, Chloe, under Yuki's order. Even if it became a slightly different future, if Milim knew the truth about Rumaru's death, Chloe couldn't do anything. The fact that Chloe knew was only that... What? The fact that Chloe knew was only that 